Welcome to the Fireball Forward tutorial on Opportunity Fire. Opportunity Fire is when you fire at the enemy during their movement, and in this game you can conduct Opportunity Fire even if you shoot on your turn. Here's an example of Opportunity Fire. The Americans have three units on the table, and they've gotten three activations in a row. They've elected to have this one go first, this one go second, this one go third. The first unit to activate has two rifle teams and a leader and this first team here is going to execute actions first. He's going to take a shot across the field here at this German squad behind a wall. Executes his fire, he misses, he rolls a 1 here and that's a miss. Then he's going to execute his move action, jump the wall, that's one terrain crossing, move over here and jump this wall, second terrain crossing, so that's his move action. The, the German then can choose to move him back along that path to a point somewhere along the path and conduct opportunity fire at that point. This German squad is now going to fire at that team on the way over. And that is a hit. He needs a 4 to hit this guy moving it open. He rolled a 6, so that's a hit. This die would only connect on a 6. That's a colored die. It only ever hits on a natural roll of 6. Here's a 2. That's not a hit. So it's one hit against this American team on the way over. The American rolls his morale check and passes so he's then able to complete his move. Moving on with this rifle platoon the American then elects to have this rifle team execute actions. He's not going to start with a fire action he's going to go ahead and start with a move action because he knows that this German rifle squad has already fired against this platoon so he cannot conduct any opportunity fire again against this platoon. So this guy's going to hop the wall that's one crossing and then come down here and hop into the woods. That's a second crossing. And that movement is within 12 inches, so it's legal. Um, this guy has then conducted a, a move action. He can then move on to a fire action, and he'll fire on this German squad behind the wall. And that's a miss. The red die would only connect on a six. That's a five. That's a miss. And the white die, you need a six to hit someone behind hard cover. He rolled a 4. He is entitled to have this modified up to a 5 because the target's within the range die, but a 5 still misses. So that guy's done. Next we'll move on to the second platoon in the American activation, consisting of this American squad and this American leader. And the squad is going to jump the wall. That's one terrain crossing come over to the same terrain as is this other team over here and jump into the woods. And that's within his allowed movement. There's no opportunity fire allowed. There is opportunity fire allowed this time. Why? Because that's a different American platoon. Once the new activation begins, this German squad is free to fire on the new activation. So then the German says to the American, you have to retrace your steps to some position of his choosing and conduct opportunity fire at that point. Now the German squad is going to try and hit this American squad as it moves through the field. Uh, this is a hit. Um, you'd need a 4 or better to hit someone moving in the open. He rolls a 5, so that's a hit. The American then has to take one morale check and fails. So the American now, having failed his morale check mid-move, has a choice. Three options. It can either stay where it is, make a route move, or return to where it came from. These guys are going to choose to make a route move. They have to move away from the direction of fire, 45 degrees left or right from the direction of fire. And uh, he's going to move back to contact his leader, fall back and hit a rally point where the leader is here. So this American squad has conducted so far only just a move action. It can now conduct its rally action. Since it's touching a leader, it will rally with the leader's morale. A three, that's successful because these are elite paratroopers. So the American squad is now rallied. The squad has now conducted a move action and a rally action. It can still follow up with a shoot action now, fire action, which it will do against the German squad that just fired on it. So the Americans are going to return fire and miss. So this American squad now has finished off its turn with a fire action. It produced one hit against this German squad down here. The German squad now rolls its morale and it rolls a 5 so it passes, however, it is suppressed. These guys are ducking. 
Anytime that you get a, you receive a hit but you pass your morale, then you're suppressed. This means this guy is not allowed to have any more opportunity fire until it becomes activated again, until it's up for activation. Note that the suppression only occurs when you fire during your turn. You never get suppressed by receiving opportunity fire. So the Americans are going to finish off their turn by conducting actions for this third platoon, this headquarters group, and they'll choose to have the rifle team conduct actions first. The team's going to lead off with a movement action, and they'll move from this zone of woods into this diagonal adjacent zone of woods. The Germans behind the wall here cannot conduct opportunity fire because they're suppressed, they're ducking. So the Americans arrive safely. They can then follow up their move with a fire action, and they'll fire at the suppressed Germans. And miss. It's tough getting them out of places like this. We can never be sure where their snipers are placed. We take it slow, easy. <laughs> 